Hello and welcome to the 6 o'clock Chelsea Academy Media News. Today we will be answering question 4. How did you use media technologies in the construction, research and planning and evaluation stages? Our main headlines include the use of cameras and wicks used in research and planning. Final Cut Pro and Photoshop's help in the construction phase and finally how Pixton, YouTube and Prezi helped in the evaluation stages. But first, we're going to look at research and planning and the use of cameras and wick. We start off tonight with research and planning and the use of cameras. Cameras aren't the hardest piece of technology to use. I mean, considering that we had to use them last year, we were pretty familiar with them. But it was important that as a group we gathered all the necessary footage and were able to use two or three different cameras from different angles and merge them together. Moving on now to how I use Wix. Well, last year I used Wix only on the evaluation questions and uh, I used it as a means of displaying my answers. However, this year I have decided to uh, use Wix in all aspects, uh, research and planning construction and evaluation as a means of displaying my work. Um, I think it offers a more um, bigger format in which to um, display my information. Uh, blogs just uh, can't do it anymore. And there are two differences. When you're creating a Wix, you can do um, HTML or Flash. Now, that you may think that there's not much difference, but there actually is, because a Flash, unfortunately, kind of stifles creativity and only limits your page um, to the uh, given shape. But uh, Flash um, is good in other ways because it, it keeps it more straight and it, it offers less... Um, things scattered on the page. So, But I decided to use HTML as that would increase the size of my page and have the amount that I could do it. Um, obviously, they are, they are, I had to learn the new differences, but uh, I, think, I think I made the right choice in choosing HTML. In other news, the construction phase. Well, this year, I think this is the biggest difference from this year to last year, and that was the use of Final Cut Pro. Um, so, this year we used Final Cut Pro instead of iMovie. I mean, iMovie's great, but now that you, I've used Final Cut, it's a, it's a totally new ball game. It's much superior. I use Final Cut Pro and they have some great features, such as the audition uh, feature where you can play two clips simultaneously to see which one works better, depending on the voice. I also love the markers in it, um, because it's really important when you're making a music video to keep to the beat and certain shots need to look a certain way. So that was very good. Um, and it also, it, it must be said though, that Final Cut did have the one problem that it took a lot of time to render uh, a clip because uh, it processed the frames, because obviously it gives you more accuracy, but then the frames have to be processed, so that was quite tough. But uh, overall, it's a, it's a much superior piece of technology, and obviously we had to have special training in order to use it, so that was good, and obviously, it gives your music video a totally different look, uh, more professional, and it, it just allows you to do so much more with it. In interesting news, Photoshop. Well, Photoshop was, it was quite funny actually, because I had never previously used Photoshop outside the classroom, not even as in my spare time. And learning how to use it was great, because we did have a special uh, course day in which we learned how to use Photoshop. But Photoshop is very much about sort of try and learn sort of thing. So you'd try some features and you'd see how they'd go and if they wouldn't work, you'd just undo them and then keep trying, it's like trial and error. But uh, I do like the features of um, the sort of shading uh, features that you get, the sort of how you can burn certain things to make them look dirty or a darker tone. That, that was very good. Um, that was really, really good. I, I like that. And also I do like the sort of you can kind of really do what you like with it, sort of the fonts, you can download fonts off the internet and put them in and that, that gave us really good scope for our um, magazine advert because we really wanted the rocked, sort of distorted look and that really, really did give it to us, so we were ha happy with that. Finishing off tonight's news, we end with the sad story of evaluation. In evaluation, there was the use of Pixton. 
I love Pixton. I think Pixton is a great piece of software. I did use it last year uh, for one of my evaluation questions, but this year I've used it many more times because I think it offers like a sort of fun way of displaying information. It doesn't always have to be sort of essay typed. You can just do as much information but in a more visual way for someone who finds it difficult to process information. So that's how I used it. It's a very uh, easy piece of technology to use. It's just like making a comic book only online. Um, also, there was the use of YouTube annotations. Um, those th That's very basic and um, it's just a point of putting um, sort of essay type paragraphs over your video so you, um, you can use it. I, I used that for one of my evaluation questions, that was very good. And finally Prezi, I mean Prezi is probably the most common piece of software that um, anyone doing media studies at A level will use. It's just a fun interactive way and it's sort of a different way so you don't have to do Microsoft PowerPoint presentations which sometimes can be a bit laborious and obviously the advantages of Prezi are that it you can embed videos directly into it, so that's very, very good. My name is Ricardo Silva. This is the news. Have a lovely evening. Good night.